Billions of people around the world are continuing to suffer from poor access to water, sanitation, and hygiene. According to UNICEF and the World Health Organization, today, more than 785 million people do not have the access to water services and more than 884 million people do not have access to safe water to drink. Aside from not having access to safe water, people's health is also being affected due to unsafe hygiene practices. The child mortality rate increased, with more than 700 children under the age of 5 are dying every day from diarrheal infections caused by poor sanitation, hygiene, or contaminated drinking water. Moscavite, many people are using Boza Negro as their source of water, and one among them is Nancy Legaspi. Dito sa lugar na to, 30 years na kami dito naninirahan. At ang lahat ng mga residente dito ay mayroong kanya-kanyang puso. Ay yung puso ay mahalaga para sa amin. Kasi, dyan kami kumukuha. Dyan kami umaasa panlaba, Paligo, inumin, malapit kami sa ilog, eh, siguro galing rin yan sa ilog. Ngayon, para makasiguro kami ng, na malinis ang aming iniinom, pinapaligo, ang ginagawa namin, sinasala namin yan sa tela, papunta sa drum, tapos tinatakipan namin ang drum para makaiwas kami sa mga itlog ng lamo kasi siyempre, ba marumi yun, eh, siyempre may mga kabataan, kakasakit, mga diarya. Kaya para kami makaiwas, sinisiguro namin na itong ang drum ay may takip at sinisterilize namin ang tubig na aming inyong kasi para mapangalagaan din namin aming mga katawan. For Anna Marie, without Poso, it's very hard to live a life without any enough supply of water. They valued and used it thrifty because that is the only source that they have. Bilang isang barangay official, paano niyo po isinasagawa ang sanitation para sa kaligtasan ng mga tao na dadalo sa ating barangay? Meron po ba ang barangay na na-provide na equipment para sa kanya? Ayan nga, yun na i-provide ng mga pambomba na pang sanitation, lalo na pagkakahit na, lalo na pagka merong halimbawa ng namatay at nasabing positive. Yung buong nasasakupan hanggang 100 meter na bawat kakatabi ay binobomba na nakawag ng barangay na dapat. Pero ngayon, marami ng istak ngayon, dram-dram na ang may apat na drum kami doon sa barangay na pang sanitation. Yan ang inaagapan ng aming mga barangay official na pagkakuhan ay nagbobomba rin kami sa mga lugar na hindi pa namang kahit na wala silang na, nagkakaroon na mild na COVID, 
ay binubuo ba ni sinasangit tayo na rin namin. Nung nahanan namin, inaagapan. Kami na po ba ang nagkaroon dito ng COVID-19 positive cases? Saan nung kadami namin? Maraming nakakaroon pero ang may lang kasi sa mga nakakaroon dito. Kasi maliit lang naman itong barangay namin punta doon. Pero marami din yung nagkakaroon. Mm -hmm. Nilalagay din sa facility. Binubukod na rin dahil nice. pagka nag-positive sila. Po is, um, isa din po ba yung mga tao sa dahilan kung ilang pagkakaroon ng maruming na tubig po? Sobra. Dadakot sila sa loob ang ganito. Sa bakura nila. Itatapon sa tulay. Ganyan. Kahit anong dumi, dumi ng aso, dumi ng et cetera, et cetera, dumi ng bata. May napapanis silang ugas, hindi nakakain ng hayop, itatapos sa sana sa ilog. Tapos sa ilog, may kikaharpan ng makula. May nagahakot. Yung mga tao rito sa... Lalahatin ko na pati ako. Yung tao rito sa tabi ng ilog. Ultimo pamper, simula dyan sa tiyo pinuntahan nyo. Mas milmaya kasi mga waray. In the city of Silang, one of our members went there to gather further information regarding to water and its purification processes. So, hello po ako po si Sai, estudyante ng National University. Andito po ako para interviewin kayo at maganda po kami ng ilang mga katanungan para sa inyo. Uh, ako nga pala si J.R. Cortez. Uh, Nagtatrabaho sa uh, Prime Water Silang, Cavite. Ang trabaho ko ay pump operator. Ano po yung mga common na problema sa ka-complaints ko na natatanggap nyo? Pag nagbrown out, yung bigla ang brown out, uh, minsan uh, kailangan mabuksan agad ang tubig. Kasi pag uh, nagbrown out, kailangan namin buksan yung mga generator namin. Paano po kayo nakakasigurado na malinis yung dinidistribute niyong tubig sa mga tao? Pinapalab uh, yung tubig namin para makasiguradong ang tubig ay malinis, pwedeng inumin at ipanluto. Silang Water District undergo to water testing laboratory to analyze the water quality on how safety it can be. What is water laboratory testing? It plays a major role in analyzing the quality of any water, like drinking water or the water from a polluted river. It can help us to determine on how acidic or basic the water is. By evaporating it on evaporating dish and measuring its boiling point, we can identify how purity the water is. For most people, good hygiene is so much part of their daily routine. So keep those who care about healthy and safe. Help them learn and be sure that they are practicing good personal hygiene. Sanitation is important in every aspect of our lives since it is connected with our health. It has something to do with our development and extend our lifespan. Basically, Wash your hands after any type of contamination. Wash your hands before, during, and after preparing food. How can we help to preserve clean water? Um, we can help to preserve the clean water by disposing of chemicals properly and use to dispose of harmful materials properly. Um, Cause communities need clean water for energy and food production because our cherished way of life depends on the clean water. Clean water and sanitation is important because we are using it in our everyday life such as bathing, washing dishes, drinking water. The SDG 6 has its wording, ensure availability and sustainable the management of water and sanitation for all. So, we should stop wasting water and save every drop of it. Satisfying the physical need for a safe Drinking water source is the most immediate advantage of gaining access. So, we should know and we should learn how to save every drop of water. So, we should save every drop of water because not everyone is privileged to have 
a clean source of it. Why do we need to study SDG or the Sustainable Development Goals? The SDG can be utilized as a framework or tool that will help students improve their research, critical thinking, problem solving, communication abilities, and teamwork. This 21st century's ability will prepare students for the real world difficulties that they will confront throughout their lives. The SDG provides global advice for tackling the international community's global concern. It is about preserving people's opportunity to live in dignity and prosperity across generations by better conserving the natural underpinnings of life and our planet everywhere and for everyone. Value every drop of water because that is also a meaning of life. Thank you.